So the president of Cameroon, who has been the president of Cameroon since 1982, that is about 42 years now, that man has been in power for four decades now. Can you imagine that at the age of 93, that man still want to contest for the position of the president of Cameroon? But it's not surprising because all these years he has been a puppet for the West entirely, especially when it comes to France. And one thing that is common with these Western powers or Western allies is as long as they have a puppet in a country in Africa where they have something to benefit and this puppet continue to do their bidding, he can stay there till eternity. Because even rumor has it that this president don't live in Cameroon anymore. He lives in France. He only comes to Cameroon during election or during a national day. That is to say that he lives comfortably in France and he has people that he delegates power to. Even if you come to look at it, a 93 years old man can no longer run a country like Cameroon. So what does he tell you? He tells you that he has people his children or his best ally who he dedicates authority to, who is running the country on his behalf. And what does he tell you? He tells you that this man is ready to remain there until he is no more. And then if care is not taken, he has already groomed his son. Or he has already prepared someone, if he's not his son or wife, that will take over from him. This is terrible that at this modern day in time, a country like Cameroon have a 93 years old man who want to remain in power until he is no more. Because at this point in time, what does this man even know that is happening in that country? I can bet you the answer is that he doesn't even have a common view of what is happening in Cameroon or what his people, the average Cameroonians are going through. The day the people of Cameroon now will rise up and say that enough is enough, they don't want this 93 years old man who has been in power for over 42 years now to be their president. The West will right now start talking that the Cameroonian citizens have thrown out a legitimate government. But there's nothing legitimate about this government. The day the Cameroonians, Cameroonians will say, that they want him out of office. That is the day the West will start talking. The day Cameroon, other countries in Africa will gain their total freedom. That is the way the day will start achieving a whole lot of things. And for Cameroon and other African countries to be free, Nigeria has to be free too from the manipulations and the control, or control of the western allies or western powers because that is why you see that the western powers or the western allies they are holding nigeria with strong hand because nigeria is like the big brother to other african countries if nigeria is free africa will be free but the truth of the matter is that you see that a whole lot of protests are going on all over africa the youths are sick and tired having this ancestors who once told them as children that children are the future of tomorrow and now even while they are adults these ancestors that say these things to them are still the one ruling and controlling them 